So you get to a certain point in life, maybe it's your 30s or 40s, maybe even your 50s, or maybe age isn't an issue, and you find yourself unhappy with the way your breasts sit. You try doing various body weight exercises that you've seen promoted online to lift your breasts. Honestly guys, you are wasting your time, but surely there must be a way to fix this without surgery. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been avoiding the subject I'm about to talk about today, even though I've had an overwhelming number of requests to create a video for you about it. The exact question being exercises to lift your breasts. So although today I am going to give you one exercise, I am also going to give you some much more valuable information that you need to know so you can take the best steps for yourself. Right, let's jump straight into it. The first thing you need to understand is that your breasts are not like your quads or your biceps or your glutes. These are primarily made up of muscle because they are muscles. Muscles can be increased in size and the more you train your muscles, the stronger they will become and the more muscle mass you will build and the more toned they will look overall. Let's take glutes for example. If you follow a good nutrition program and a workout program tailored to help you build muscle, you will grow your glutes, tighten them up, lose some fat that's covering them, which will give them a lifted, toned appearance. Breasts, on the other hand, are primarily made up of glandular and fatty tissue, and because of this, you cannot pump them up or lift your breasts through exercise. But you say, my breasts are on my chest, so surely there are some exercises that I can do to lift them. Yes, there are some exercises you can do to build and tone your chest, but this actually has nothing to do with your actual breasts. And here's why. The main muscle on your chest, which is a pretty big muscle, is called your pectoralis major. This stretches from your collarbone to your armpit and down across your lower chest. This muscle moves the shoulder joint four different ways, as well as helping keep your arm attached to your body. There are loads of exercises you can do to work this muscle, such as chest press, incline push-ups, dumbbell flies, dips, just to name a few, there are plenty of them. Although doing these exercises definitely will help to tone your pecs, it will do very, very little to lift your breasts. Now, I say very little instead of nothing at all because depending on the shape and size and I guess the age you're at, performing chest exercises and um, building your pecs a little bit may very slightly give you the appearance of more lifted breasts just because your pecs will be a little bigger. The actual breasts are not changing at all. It's just because they are sitting on top of your pecs. I hope, <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Here's an example. Many female bodybuilders have built huge pec muscles. However, the actual breast appearance is no different to someone who doesn't work out at all. So that's the biological side of it in a nutshell. Now that you understand that breasts are not muscles and you cannot shape and tone them, how can we give them a perkier and more lifted appearance naturally. Well, there really is not much at all you can do. That is the cold hard truth of it. However, if you do want to try something naturally, there is one exercise that you can do that will give you your best chance of lifting your breasts a little bit. Most people could really do with improving their posture. More specifically in this case, the way you cave in your chest and shoulders. This is even more likely to be an issue in women who have naturally large breasts. Unless we consciously press our shoulders back, straighten our back and stand tall, most of us naturally sit here with our shoulders slightly forward with a caved chest. Doing this not only causes your chest to drop, but it actually weakens your upper back muscles because they're not being actively trained. Even performing exercises like push-ups to strengthen your chest can actually give you that rounded shoulder, uh, sunken chest appearance if you're not training the rest of your body, especially your upper back. So you're not going to do chest exercises to try and lift your breasts. The one exercise I want you to do is to strengthen your upper and middle back. Now, there are many exercises you can do to strengthen this area. However, today I'm just giving you one exercise that you can do that requires no equipment and can be done by any fitness level. By performing this exercise regularly, and I don't mean every day, just like two to three times per week is enough, you will significantly strengthen your upper back, which will prevent you from rolling your shoulders forward and caving your chest, and you will naturally hold yourself a lot better, which will lift your chest more. To do this exercise, hold your arms to the sides with your fingers pointing to the ceiling and your elbows parallel to your shoulders. 
Start with your shoulders in a neutral position and you're going to then press them back, squeezing your trapezius muscle, which runs from the top of your shoulders down through either side of your spine to the middle of your back. Repeat this movement by pressing your shoulders back and squeezing the upper back muscles and releasing back to the start point. Perform 10 to 15 reps in a row and three to four sets. By doing this exercise regularly, you will soon build strength in your upper back muscles, which can help improve your posture by keeping your shoulders back, which will naturally lift your chest a little. Also, if you want to make the movement slightly harder and work your lower and middle back as well as your upper back, you could perform this movement lying on the floor. As you do this, repeat the same movement as you did while standing, but also squeeze your glutes and lift up your lower body as well. So guys, there you go. With all of that said, you really can't make significant changes to your breasts without having a surgical procedure. I will never try to sell you on some ridiculous craze or feed you information that is just not true. Do I think you can get amazing results from performing this exercise? No, I don't. However, if you're not in a position to get surgery or you simply don't want surgery, which is perfectly normal, and you just want the best chance of lifting your breasts naturally, then this is it. I have avoided this topic because there is just nothing you can do naturally to bring significant results. However, the question keeps getting asked. So I thought it's time to address it and at least to give you something and point you in the right direction. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it beneficial. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support and we'll see you next time.